Realist evaluation focuses less on the verdict of whether an intervention worked, but how it worked. Can you say a little bit more about this? For any in intervention, you can expect it to work in some, sometimes at some places, and you can expect it to, to fail. Similarly, within a programme, if you, if you begin to divide up the subjects, you always get winners and losers. And the great implication is we, we change from judgments thumbs up and thumbs down about where the programmes work, to explanations. Why is it they work here but not there? Why is it we, they work for these people and, and not those people? The question isn't what works or does it work? The question is what works for whom in what circumstances? And your first take of realist evaluation should be it's a gathering of all of those conditionalities. Realist evaluation seems to lay a great stress on programme theory and programme mechanisms. Could you say a little more? And re realist evaluation is part of the family of theory-driven uh, uh, evaluation. Uh, and that says the starting point is, is programme theories. Interventions are many different things. So if you're the manager of a programme, the programme is the team of people that you're developing to deliver the programme. If you're an economist, a programme is a, a, a list of costs and a list of potential benefits. If, if you're a programmed subject, it's just something that you happen to do on Thursday afternoons. If you're a programme practitioner, it's, it's a way of making a living. It's what you turn up from Monday to Friday to, to do. So programmes are all of those things, um, but they're also always theories. If we deliver this resource, if we do X, it should bring about change Y. So that is a useful and universal starting point uh, for, for all of our evaluations. Uh, and that, that is a program theory. Now the, the, the next one, a, pro, a program th uh, mechanism, it's a little bit of realist jargon, but central. What it says is, when we're thinking about programs, uh, we should think about what it is that makes them work. It, it, it isn't programs that work, it's people that make programs work. Uh, so a, a, a program mechanism tries to capture that idea. So what it says is a program comes along, it provides resources to people, different kinds of resources. So those resources might be material, might provide them with stuff, uh, it might be uh, emotional, um, it might be social, it might provide them with encouragement, it might be a persuasive program. And whether a program works uh, depends on the reaction to those resources. They provided me with X which prompted me to do Z. So a program theory has the first question, we're going to do X in order to do Y, and a program mechanism is how that works out uh, uh, in reality, within the program. The interesting things is the, ex the, the expectations of the program theory are often not met uh, in the uh, actuality of the program mechanism. How does realist evaluation approach the influence of context on social interventions? This, this is the great learning in evaluation methodology over the last 20, 20 years. More and more people and more and more perspectives have come to realise the importance of context. And I, I think it's actually impossible to have a social programme that doesn't have a time, a place. So evaluation has to build an understanding of context. Um, I often use the, the, the metaphor of onion rings, the layers of an onion ring. And so, so programs are surrounded by various layers of, of, of context. So think of some, some program all of us have been through, say an educational program. Does that education work? Answer, it depends on context. Uh, what context? Well, it depends on who's giving and who's receiving the education. It depends on the individuals. It depends on how well they get on, uh, the interrelationship between the individuals. It depends on the institutions themselves. Does, does the school or where, where, whatever uh, foster uh, that uh, program uh, to work? It, it, it depends on organisational norms. So all of those things constitute context and all of them provide a really mighty agenda for the poor evaluator who's got to try and understand them. 
Social interventions are complex and messy. How does realist evaluation deal with this compared to other evaluation methods? Evaluation should always begin by recognising the complexity uh, of the, the, the social programme. To, to, to help in that, I came up with this little acronym, VICTOR. The, the, these are the dimensions of, of uh, complexity. The first one is uh, vo vo volitions, the understanding of, of, of the people, the understanding of the stakeholders. So you've got a built-in complexity because people are interpreting programmes and people are always different. Second one is uh, Im implementation. Implementation often involves great long implementation chains. So in the kind of programs I'm doing now, they start with the Department of Health in, in Waterloo Road in London and they find themselves right down uh, to the hospital waiting room and, 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 and the doctor's surgery. And they pass through many, many hands. And in that passing, uh, they distort, they, they, they're, they're shaped and, re, and, and, and reshaped. Uh, context, context doesn't mean locality, it means the different individuals, the different institutions, the different infrastructures in which uh, programs are Im implemented and they're always different that difference adds complexity. Uh, time. Uh, prog programs happen in an historical time pocket uh, and when they're played out is actu actually important. Um, next one is out out outcomes. Programs always have multiple outcomes and good evaluation should chase a multiple outcomes. So, so, so if you're interested in rehabilitation of, of someone in a drugs program, uh, you want to know uh, a, whether they get off drugs, but you also likely just want to know, do they get jobs, do they get into, into education, do they, uh, do they lead, lead a, a, a decent social life? Rivalry, the next one we've got to the R. We live in a, a, a social world um, that, that's made up of programs, so you never get the single unwashed uh, implementation of a program. Uh, what happens is programs are implemented alongside each other and often they interact, often they're actually rivals. The, 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 the last one is the most, is, is the fun one, um, um, emergence. Programs actually change the conditions that, 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 that make them work. So, so my favourite example here is, is about closed circuit television. And CCTV, CCTV is a beautiful example. You can't move now in in uh, the UK without being on camera. So in other words, CCTV started as the program, but it's now the context. So if you've got any, any decent worthwhile wire burglar, he or she will know that there is CCTV there and they will change their behavior ac ac accordingly. So, so that's, that's the mess of, of um, uh, programs. What, what, what can you do about it? What we have to realize is that evaluation is always partial. But the, the, the true secret is that partial knowledge is, is, is very, very important. So in any one of those things, uh, we can study it. So we, we can focus a study on contextual variation. We can focus a study on different sorts of implementation. How does realist evaluation approach evidence differently from other types of evaluation? Realist evaluation is avowedly multi-method, multi-evidence-based, so, so it doesn't have this hierarchy of evidence that occurs in other, uh, other, other evaluation perspectives, because you need quite different kinds of data to answer, answer the basic question. So the what works question is an outcome question, but basically you need quantitative, uh, quantitative data to, 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 to capture that. You also need qualitative uh, d d data, and, and qualitative data, going back to the division of labour, fits very nicely with the idea of a programme mechanism. So a programme mechanism is how stakeholders, how subjects, understand the resources that they're given to them. And, and, and there is another step. Uh, we've talked about the importance of context. How, how you find context is, is to use comparative evidence. So the comparative evidence might come from different programs. It might come from, from looking at different subgroups of, 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 of people. So 
realist evaluation draws in three, at least three forms of, 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 of evidence, uh, quantitative, qualitative and, and, and comparative. It also draws in narrative evidence. So if you want to look at the, program th the underlying program theories, uh, uh, it's often the case that these are set down in the background program documentation. So now we've got four. What does realist evaluation have to say about the positioning of the evaluator or researcher when conducting interviews and gathering data with a range of stakeholders? It's vital to know the perspectives of all of the different stakeholders in, in a program. However, uh, the, the, there's a limit to, to uh, the expertise of each, of each stakeholder. And here's the crucial bit, there's a division of expertise. So what the realist evaluator tries to do is say, what's going to be the expertise of the different stakeholders? So, so program designers, naturally enough, are experts on program theory. They've invented the program theory. Um, program recipients, they're very good at mechanisms. So, so, so they've experienced the program, and so they can say what it is about the program that made them act one way or the other. So if you ask what I might call a program manager, they can begin to tell you the context which are more conducive uh, to, to the success or failure of a, of a, of a program. Um, practitioners uh, are just brilliant at the for whom question. So often they have an array of subjects before them and rather like a teacher, they know that some people will listen and some people won't, won't listen. Some people will take on the message of a program and some, some don't. So uh, that's, the, that's the lineup of expertise. And it's the evaluator's job to sit above them and, get, get, and get, gather them in. But it's, it's more than just a gathering. The realist evaluator is, is starting with the program theories. And so the question to all of these people is to what extent does the program theory apply? So the program is supposed to do X, what have you found? And that's the, that's the basic dynamic of what, what I fancifully call the realist interview. How does realist evaluation help with a cumulative understanding of how things work? And why does evaluation not already do this? It's to do with the commissioning of, a, of, of evaluation. What happens is Policy makers come up with a new idea, sometimes not such a new, new, new idea, but it's branded as a new, uh, a, a new solution to an old problem. And there are stream after streams of these new programs that, 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 that come along. Evaluation, and like any other science I know, always starts from scratch. So whatever the new pro pro program is, the evaluator starts assuming that there's never been a program that future programs don't influence it, the, the, the task is to deal with the current program in the here and now. So evaluator A will, will make no uh, comment, no use of what evaluator B has had to, 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 to say about it. Uh, so what's, what's the resolution? The, the resolution is to do with program theory evaluation. So, so what this says, it agrees that all programs are unique so the new one coming off the block will, will never have, have been implemented in quite that way before. But what, what's not true is that all program theories are unique. They crop up over and over and over again. And so th this, this is the source of, of, of accumulation. This gives you a different starting point. If you start with program theory, you'll find out that the same ideas are tried out in subtly different circumstances. And if you trawl through the different evaluations in those different circumstances, you'll try, you, you, you end up building up a picture of, of what works for whom in what circumstances.